So let's say that there's a disco ball in the middle of this room. Don't worry, I know there's not a disco ball in the middle of the room, but let's pretend for a little bit. If I wanna come down here to um, mesh warping, I can spherize and I can turn this um, and I can actually adjust it to the disco ball, the ball in the middle of the room, and it will actually form somewhat around that ball. Or let's say there's a um, fisheye mirror in the center of the room. Don't worry, I know there's not, but if there were, you could actually project that. That's radical. You could project it over there. What I did not mention is that if I were to select this and go down to soft edge, basically soft edge is when we're feathering. I can feather the left in with a lot of power. So it's like that. Or I could do the same thing with the right. If I mess around with these, I can do it as well with the top. You can see it coming in from the top. The power, I want it, let's say I want it pretty low, or I want it pretty high. Basically, that's just your threshold. So, we're gonna talk about blend mode. I'm gonna make two quads, and I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull one like that, and this one like that and I'm gonna have them overlap. And if this were a video, this video would be seen, um, would be completely seen, and this video would have this chunk right here hidden by this. But if you fix the blend mode, um, which I suggest only to keep to over, over pre-multiplied or add and what add does is it basically just adds the light on top of the light so now instead of just seeing one video you can see the other video shine through if you will you see this center part being lighter and you see both videos so that actually can come in handy a lot um, other than that you can leave it with over and where you only see this video and you no longer see this video behind this.